All right, today we're gonna to learn how to play the acoustic version of Muse's classic rock song, Time Is Running Out. Now this is the acoustic rendition I did with Andrea, which if you haven't heard that, definitely listen to that first. I'm gonna link you below because she is an amazing singer. And in a lot of ways, is kind of like the female slightly taller version of Matt Bellamy. So the way we did it, we had a capo second fret, but I'm just gonna do it in open position like it is in the original. And this isn't such a huge departure from the original song, so if you wanna plug this in and rock it out, it'll sound pretty much just like time is running out. But basically, we're gonna start with uh, the intro, which is also the verse, and it's four different parts. It's gonna sound like this. Okay, so when I say four parts, the first part is gonna be on the A string, and it's just gonna be open A, and 3A, right? So an A to a C. So this is gonna be representative of a A minor chord. In fact, what she's playing, she's just kind of chugging in an A minor chord, right? And the riff is going. Now, uh, you'll notice that maybe in the intro when she's not singing, I'm playing it more sustained, which means I'm just hitting A, A, C, A, A, C, A, C. And then when she's singing over it, it's more of like a, a palm muted thing, right? Uh, because when you palm mute, you kind of stay out of the singer's way, and you can kind of hear the vocals a little bit better. I think I'm drowning, asphyxiating. All right, so basically it's very rhythmic. It's just two notes, but the rhythm is so important. So we've got A, A, C, A, A, C, A, C. So it's almost kind of like dynamically three, three, and two. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, is a good way to think about it. Now the next part is gonna be a, this is going to be sliding, I, I slide from the 5th fret to the 7th fret, so this is a B, and it's into a minor 3rd, so this is representative of a B minor chord, if you want to just play the chords, it'd be A minor to B minor. The riff that goes over that B minor is really similar. 7E, 5A, and then you walk it down from 5, 6 to 7, so... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. It's kind of like the accents right there, right? So we've got. The next part is super easy. This is just an octave E. So it's the open E string. One, two, three. One, two, three, one, two. Just like the same kind of dynamics as that first part. So open E and seven A, which is another E octaves. You could easily play it like this. I just kind of like doing it here because it's kind of where I came from. E, 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 E. And then we're going to go, so again, this is, would be like a E chord. So the chords would be A minor to B minor to E and then F to a G. And the way we're playing this, uh, Riff-wise, is just power chords. One, one, five, one, 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 five, one. Again, one and a five is a power chord, so it's E, E, A, E, 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 A, E. So all four parts. First part. Second. Third. And you can kind of inflect those, make them a little bit, uh, a little bit different, kind of like when I go from the B minor type run, I kind of maybe swing it a little bit or tremolo like. It's kind of like down up. A lot of different ways you can play it, but that's just gonna be the intro and the verse. I'm gonna take that all the way into, uh, the, I guess we'll call it the pre-chorus. Sounds like this. This is the part that's like, uh, Bury it, I won't let you bury it. So basically this is really heavily palm muted too. It's an F chord. 3D, 2G, 1B. And this is all palm muted again. But we're gonna start it with your pointer finger off. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the first three hits are like an F chord with an open B string. One, two, three, add the C, and then just 
to open string set two times. And then groups of two backing off from a 3B to a 1B to open B. One, two, one, two, one, two. So F, open, one, two, one, two, one, two, to A minor chord. Same thing we did with the F, we just open up that B string. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Same thing, so we're going, we're jumping back and forth between an F and an open string set, walking backwards to another A minor. Open string set. And that happens again. A minor. And then the last time. Uh, I'm just kind of sliding it. It's, it's, it's a really similar thing. It's uh, all open strings. And again, I'm really only kind of strumming the D, G, and B string for the most part. But I'm sliding from three to five. Right before uh, the chorus. And I think this kind of inflection kind of builds a little bit of uh, a little bit of tension or whatever, just kind of dynamic into uh, the chorus, right? The chorus is really easy, just four chords, an F major to a G major, so I'm just kind of going down two frets. And I'm playing it like bar chord style, but since it's acoustic, I don't like to use bar chords as much because I have such delicate hands. I try to get just those middle four strings. One, two, three, four, one, so two bars, slide it down into a G, into an A minor. And now it's not a full A minor shape, I'm actually kind of leaving that B string open. So I'm getting an A minor, 7, A, 7, D, 5, G, open B. Kind of adding that B kind of adds a little bit of a, a little bit of, a little bit of flavor to it, right? to a C major chord, but with a G in the root. So I've got 3E, 3A, 2D, open G, 1B. And this is just kind of like a, like a straight chug, I guess if you want to call it, because such a great thing about Muse, one of my favorite bands ever, is the way they kind of rhythmically change parts and stuff like that. So I think this is just kind of like an example of how you can kind of go from like a one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five type pattern into more like just a like straight rock chug. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, to C. And then the second time you do it. at the end, instead of going to that C chord, after the A minor, we go to the F to the G. You can play them as bar chords to maybe make them more exciting. Or you can play them just as the power chords as before. Back into the intro. So, that's basically it. Intro, verse of the same thing. You just kind of run through that a few times. Uh, you can palm mute it. I think it sounds awesome palm muted. And then uh, adding, maybe opening that up a little bit as it goes through, you can kind of build a dynamic. And then into these. And then uh, the straight on rock chuck. So there it is. Uh, definitely let me know if you have any questions and we will probably get some more covers out soon and I'll teach you how to do those too. Thanks a lot.